What's up fellow producers on YouTube, Infamous Beats here. Today, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between mixing and mastering. There seems to be a lot of confusion around these two concepts, but they're very, very different. Let's start with mixing. Let, let me open up a project, that my, la my latest beat, which is called Fuck the Club Up. And uh, the thing with mixing is you just have your whole, your instruments on the single tracks of the mixer with the different effects and the EQs and everything. And um, mixing pretty much just means adjusting the single volumes of every channel that you have. So every instrument, so that when the whole beat is playing together, they all sound good as one. So nothing is standing out too much, nothing is too low. And, uh, and then you want, might want to add some panning as well, left and right, to make it sound more stereo and everything. And this is what mixing is. So making sure that all the instruments, when your beat is playing together, they sound good together and as one. So that if you want something particular to stand out, it has to stand out the right amount. And the way you do that is you pretty much just drag this little knob up and down. And uh, you, you just adjust the volume. I'm going to show you right now. So if I wanted to lower this synth, I would just drag this down. And that will learn the main melody. So after you mix your beat, you want to just export it in a WAV file by going to export WAV file and then whatever calling it, whatever you want. And I've already actually exported it on my desktop. So this is the, the track that I've exported, the unmastered version. And I'm going to import this in here, which is an empty template where there's a, uh, on the master track of the mixer, I'm going to put the Maximus which is the program that I use to, the plugin actually that I use to master. Go to, go up to Maximus and select presets default so that you can actually tweak it the way you want. And the, the most important thing is also having the limiter here. And I'm actually tell you what, uh, what you need that for. So Maximus, um, this is where the mastering starts now. So let me zoom in and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So what's the the basic idea of mastering is, uh, especially with with these times, is raising the volume of the whole track up so that there's um, less difference between the very peak, which in this case is the kick, which is already maxing out the 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 meter, the stereo meter, and then the rest of the song, which is about you can. There's a lot of difference, a lot of dynamic range, it's called, between the, the peak of the highest point and the rest of the, of the melody and everything and the rest of the song. So the thing you want to do with mastering is pretty much lowering this difference so that the, the kick doesn't stand out as much and then raising the whole thing so that it actually looks a lot thicker. And uh, by looking thicker, it also means that it sounds fuller and especially way louder. And you're going to see it and you're going to hear it, the difference as well as uh, I go through it. And uh, actually, I have already pre-mastered uh, this track and I'm going to show you what it looks like to show you the difference. There, so... As you can see, there's quite a big difference because this is the unmastered version where the kick is standing out a lot and then there's a lot of dynamic range, a lot of difference between this highest point here, which is already maxing out the stereo meter and then everything else in the melody here. Whereas this one, there's the kick and then there's the melody. It's, uh, everything is, uh, is much louder. Let me play this. This is the unmastered version first. And 
Okay, as you can hear in this uh, in this version, the the kick is really standing out a lot. It's really punching through the mix a lot, which is good. But then everything else, the rest of the melody is kind of low, it is rather low. So the the thing you want to do is raise the the melody up a little bit, the highs and the mids, and then actually also raising the whole volume up and this is what it sounds like after it's been mastered it's a pretty dra drastic change you're gonna hear as soon as the beat drops a kick in the 808 So you can hear and you can also see the difference. And how do you go from this to this? I'm gonna show you right now. So let's open up the mixer and then remove this. Let's open up the mixer and then go to Maximus. Turn it on. And uh, the thing you, you do with, the, uh, with mastering is a combination of, uh, I use a combination of Maximus and then the limiter. Maximus I use to um, work on the different bands. So these are the three main frequencies that make up a beat, which are the low end, the mid end, and um, the high ends. And uh, what these do is you pretty much can, by dragging these up, you can adjust the volumes of frequencies. Not You're not working with single instruments anymore, but you're working with frequencies. So you might have all the different like um like you have a brass a snare um some percussions some melodies in here and if you raise this up you're gonna raise all of those um instruments up the frequencies of the the particular sound is gonna get uh, raised so it's gonna go up and you can also move these bands around and adjust them and uh, usually for the high end, you you just um, listen to the the claps and the and the bells and the hi hats and the crashes, and uh, in the mid ends there's the brass, the hits and uh, the the melody usually the the melodies and um, the percussions, the snares and everything, and then in the low ends it's just the bass and the kick, which is around like one twenty, and then everything else right here is just just pretty much the 808 so that it's it's actually pretty free to to bounce really hard so let's play this and uh let's actually the the cool thing is that you actually you can solo out the single tracks so if i just click solo and then i play low and then i put in monitor you can hear that there's barely any sound and that's because at the beginning this part is all mid is all in the mid range, so this is playing now. So if I go back to the lows, now it's gonna pick up the kick and the 808. So let's stop this a little bit. And the thing you wanna do, uh, you wanna know is um, you can raise the single, the single bands by using the post gain. So you can raise the volume and then um, to actually, if you just drag this around, you can add some compression. I'm not actually gonna compress the lows because on this one, they sound pretty good to me already. I'm actually gonna higher them a little bit. Let's put this from now on. Where'd it go? Right here. Okay, let's move on now to the mids. And the mids, you see that there's quite some difference between the high part of the snare and the rest of the melody. So we could use some compression on this. I'm actually raise the gain a little bit so that the mids are clearer and they stand out more in the mix. And then I'm uh, 
add some compression and the way to add some compression is that you see the peak of the snare is at minus 4 db you can see up here in the in the top it's at minus 4 db while uh, while the rest of everything else is uh, around minus 16 so that means that there's 12 decibel of dynamic range which is quite a lot so i'm gonna actually compress the the snare so that it gets to it starts compressing around minus seven decibel so you just drag this to minus seven and now you'll see that it start that it will start compressing you see it's actually compressing right now so you see this part right here that's the compression that you put here now let's turn the release down because it makes the, the sound sound clearer This we don't need for now. Okay, so let's raise this a little bit more. Same thing with the highs. The idea is pretty much you find the, the highest point and the lowest point, and you try to make it slightly more even so that you don't it, it doesn't stand out too much. And the, the whole sound is pretty much not just the same level, but it's more leveled out. So let me lower the high part of the snare. Let's turn the release down once again. And now you can hear what they all sound together. It's a good rule. It's a good rule not to make it um, compress too much on the, on the master so that you see that here the kick is already going above the ceiling so that I need to turn to compress this down a little bit and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna turn the post gain down a little bit and that will decrease the volume slightly so that on the master you won't have it compressed a little lower there now it's not compressing anymore so we're pretty much done with the Maximus and now we're gonna go and now we're gonna switch to the limiter and uh, the Maximus is pretty much to um, balance out the different frequencies so the high band the mid band and the low band and now we're gonna raise the volume of the whole thing to make it sound a lot louder and uh, to do that you open up your mixer and you go to the limiter so for the limiter and now let's work on that so as you can see there's also there's only two knobs on the fully limiter which is the gain and the ceiling and uh, you see that once you start playing right now it's not compressing at all so that means that um, uh, there's there's no compression going on but there's it's quite some difference still from the kick to the rest of the melody but I can use by using the gain I can raise the whole thing up and what that does means what this does is that um, it will increase the volume so now the kick will go past the ceiling which is this part right here which is set to minus 0.8 dB so that it will never go over minus one on the on the master so that i will never have a clip on the master and now you will see that it will compress because the gain i'm gonna show you right quick as you see. see now it's compressing if i turn the gain down it won't be compressing anymore you see now it's not compressing anymore but it sounds weaker so now let's Raise this up so that the whole thing sounds louder as well. And you see now it's compressing, so I think it's compressing a little bit too much. So let's turn the gain down a little bit. Let's check out the stereo meter to see what it looks like and make sure that it never goes over the minus one. 
but as you can see we can raise the ceiling up a little bit and it's still not flipping so it's good so the ceiling here is good let's see what it looks like Okay, so now it's, now it's barely compressing at all. So we can raise the gain a little bit so that the overall volume will go up. It will compress a little bit the kick and the snare. All right. Let's turn the release down. And now as you see the whole track is looking much thicker so this that was the mastering of the track let me now export it I'm gonna export this as a WAV file fuck the club up master start and now I'm gonna re-import it right here and I'm actually show you the difference and it's a pretty big difference. So as you can see, now the whole thing looks much fatter and it's, uh, and fatter means louder as well. So you can really tell that there's a difference between the unmastered version and the master version and that what mastering is. So let's play this real quick. Just one second for me to show you all the difference let's turn this off this is the unmastered version and this is the mastered version okay that's it so that was a quick tutorial on uh, on mastering and some techniques and the difference with mixing I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. Uh, subscribe. I got plenty more on the way. So, leg out.